Flower Shop. Let's create an object-oriented Flower Shop program. We will need the following classes. Flower, and then in Flower, Lily, Rose, and Tulip. Shop, and Manager. Our Flower Shop will have a Flower class, and then three Flower types, which extend the Flower class. They will have the attributes in Stock, Price, and Color. Our program will also have a Manager class, which will have an ID and name attribute. Finally, we will also have our Shop program that will have an array of managers and an array of flowers. All classes must implement encapsulation. When we will print our Shop, we should get a string of all values. Try and do this on your own, and if you get stuck, look here for help. There we go. A couple new things here. When we call system.out.println method, it calls to the toString method on whatever object we put in there. By overriding that method, we could create custom toString actions for each object. This one we invoke toString on shop since it is redefined. It gives us an organized string of managers and values. Another new addition is the fact that we add a forward slash n in between our strings. This is just the equivalent of forward slash br in HTML, which just creates a new line. Reading code is an important part of programming. Try to understand what the code above does and why it does it. We went over every aspect of it in this course.